that are here today at Jura Hospitality Center in Mississauga, Ontario. I am with one person you really want to know. His name is Hazem and he knows everything there is to know about Jura coffee system. My first question for you is the Ena 8. Mm -hmm. Who is the perfect customer for the Ena 8? The perfect customer and the perfect fit is for a small sized family okay. who enjoy one or two cups occasionally a day. Okay. And they have some restrictions in terms of spaces in the kitchen or wherever they want to put it. Considering this is probably Euro's most compact machine. That's correct. Why only two, three cups of uh, cups a day? What limits that? Uh, because of the capacity for the bean hopper. Okay. And also the amount of water in the water tank, which is 1.1 liter. 1.1 liter, and how many grams of beans can we put in there? 125 grams. 125 grams. Okay, so smaller family, maybe four or five cups a day, um, and that's pretty much you know limited uh, limited space. But what I realized with it, and I think we're going to go through this as from what I understand, this machine being a very compact machine, I think it's the most compact Euro model, it gets a lot of technology from much higher end models that's been put into this ENA 8, is that correct? That's perfect. So we will start in the first thing we see on the top, which is the bean hopper, which is, has the capacity, like I mentioned, 125 grams of beans, mm -hmm. and it comes with the lid and airtight seal, so you are able to preserve the aromas, of the beans you have in there, you don't Perfect. have to worry about humidity. Perfect. And the second thing you can see here is this little circle. What is it for? It's for if you want to enjoy a different blend than what it's in the bean hopper. So it will have to be pre-ground coffee. Right. So maybe for instance decaf or can we use flavored coffee yes. in the shoot decaf here? Decaf is, is the top choice for people that they want to use the bypass. So they don't want at night, for example, to have caffeinated coffee. So they will have pre-ground decaf beans. So once you open the chute, you add your scoop, you close it. The machine automatically recognizes the pre-ground, so you don't have to program anything. Okay. And then you will get the screen with the options you want. You have the cappuccino, the espresso, and so on and so forth. Your machines only have bourbon. Okay. So the other type is blade, which is one blade that grinds your coffee, but burr is like a multi-level blade okay. with very fine, sharp uh, blades in it. Right. So you are able to have more control. Okay. And if you have it at the finest, it's right. really fine. And so burr grinds are better than blade yes, grinds? Yes, they last longer. And they last longer. Yes. So that, that's definitely something I had no idea until just right now. So Professional perfect. coffee machines would never use blades. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, we have the screen here. I see you have the spout here. Anything special about the spout? So with this machine, because it's a compact version, they, everything is in one place. So you put your cup and you're able to choose whatever drink you want with one touch system. So you don't have to open switch or worry about any other places you have to put your cup at. I see this is magnet as well, just like the yes. other high-end machines you have. And how many spouts do we have here? We have the milk spout and we have the coffee spout. And I see the spout the here. Water spout, the yes. water spout. The water spout is exterior. Is on the exterior. Yes. What do we have here? So this is the drip tray. That's what they call it. Okay. With the coffee ground container. Mm -hmm. So once the machine grinds the coffee, the puck of coffee, once it's done, it goes straight in here. Okay. And the machine, when it rinses, it also rinses internally and the water goes straight to the tray where you're able to see the water as well. Okay. And the best thing with these new machines is the contact sensors on them. Here we go. So you are not guessing when the tray is going to fill up. Uh -huh. So you have the graphic system telling you what is that beverage. So okay. Especially as a new user, right. you don't know the difference between beverages, so you have the picture. Sure. And it's very easy, you have two sets of buttons Yep. The first one is to command the drink you want to do. Basically, that's your enter button. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then the one on the bottom, the smaller one, is the navigation button where you are able to scroll and also access programming. That's where the P is. Well, what kind of programs uh, are we talking about here? Uh, maintenance, design, either changing the setting on a specific drink, checking the water tank um, filter life, Okay. cleaning, 
descaling, we'll get into that in detail. Okay, well, uh, do I need to know anything else about the Ina uh, 8? Well, you asked for a latte macchiato. I, you know what, you owe me a drink, so let's... let's so let's go back. Can, so I, can I do this myself? Be my guest. Okay, so I'm at latte macchiato here, and I'm going to press enter or select. As far as beans, I'm going to go all the way up. Uh, this is now, this is making the drink the way it's set from the factory. And like you can see here, we are able to adjust the amount of milk, the yep. foam. Yep, yep. So we're at 20 seconds, it was 15 and yes. you, you on the fly, you went up to 20 and I could have gone lower or higher. And even if you adjust it 21 seconds and you think it's too much, you can still hit cancel. Okay, so it, it won't overflow. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I don't have to freak out if the drink is being made. Perfect. Okay. So we have 21 seconds. So milk is measured in seconds rather than ounces or yes, milliliters. Can, you can see here I'm adjusting something called interval. Mm -hmm. That's going to give my milk some pause to break down to that thin steel. And so it allows the espresso to sit in between. Exactly. So uh, what is their tip here? How, how long do, you, do I need to usually wait? Uh, the typical, I would say, the amount of milk equals the amount of interval if you want that perfect length. If you mm. want more layering, you increase, you want less, you decrease. So basically, if I have a 20 second milk mm -hmm. uh, coming out of this, or foam coming out of this, I want to wait 20 seconds for the interval. 100%. And like you can see here, oh, yeah. it's automatically it's, it's, it's breaking up. Yeah. And it's starting to look good. There's nothing like the smell of a fresh coffee drink and honestly uh, present it to you oh wow <laughs> tell me what how many colors are you seeing what's happening to the milk it's dancing it is dancing you're right it is dancing but it's also separating yeah i see a cloud and i see the crown how many things have i done to do that you you know what nothing one touch system <laughs> you did one touch system <laughs> now where is this machine made? What kind of warranties are we looking at? So the warranty on all your machines is two years okay. for parts and labor. And the way it works, we are at Euros Hospitality Center. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. And why, what I'll show you here is there. this is a service center. It's not, we sell these nationally. Any, any product that we sell, we ship throughout Canada. Yes. And for a lot of the products, we are the warranty and service center ourselves. So whatever work has to be done is done at our location. With Euro, however, they're very special machines. We want Euro to fix whatever has to be fixed if it's under warranty. Tell me how that works. So with the Euro machines, people or normal technicians are not allowed to open it. They have to be certified by Switzerland. Okay. So you can't go to any technician and tell them to fix it. Fair enough. They have to be certified. Okay. So the National Service Center in Canada is in Saga, Ontario. Right, which is? Which is where we are right now. We're here, yeah. When you do purchase these from vacuumwarehouse.ca, we are minutes away from the service center, the National Service Center of Europe in Mississauga. So what happens is you uh, ship the machine to us, free of charge, we'll bring it here, we'll have it fixed here, we'll ship it back to you all free of charge. If you have any questions, if I've missed anything, 1-877-220-5656. Feel free to call us, chat with us online, send us an email to sales at vacuumwarehouse.ca. If you purchase this and you don't absolutely love it, let me tell you, no other machine is going to make you happy. Thank you very much. Have a nice one. Thank you.